Leslie. I'm going to be doing a little review on um, the Order 1886. If I'm looking down, it's because I have some notes scribbled down here. Okay, so let's get right into it. I Actually, I did a walkthrough, so feel free to watch that on my video if you're interested. Um, so, the pros. We'll start with that. The first pro are the graphics. The graphics are amazing. Um, the way they made the city, it looks really, really beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. But it also leads to a con because the city is really beautiful but I felt like there's no way to interact with my surroundings so for example you could be walking down this really beautiful street buildings all around you and stuff like that but you wouldn't be able to go through any of the buildings and um, you're not able to like touch anything or like climb anything it just is basically whatever the game makers want you to do like walk straight down the alley. You can only just walk straight down the alley. There's nothing else. No, um, you're not able to explore anything. Um, another pro I liked was I did like the widescreen because it looked it made it look like a movie. It was different from a regular video game. But that also leads to the con because um, sometimes when you're when you're having to shoot people. Um, it's hard to see because the top part and the bottom part are, you know, have a black band on it. And I felt like maybe without that, it would have been a lot easier to play. But sometimes I would be in the way. So another con is, um, I felt like it was, a lot of it was like time-based, time-based, um, controls or whatever. So basically what I'm saying is, like, if you're trying to sneak up on someone, you have to press a button at the right time or else they will turn around and shoot you and you have to start all over again. So that was a big problem with me because basically you only get one chance and I feel like they should have made it so at least if you didn't get that on time, there's a way for you to try to fight them before they could sound an alarm or, you know, notify everyone else. Um, like in real life, I feel like if you try to sneak up on someone and they saw you, you would be able to try to do something, you know, in order to stop them. And it wouldn't be automatically like a game over, you need to start over again. So I didn't really like that very much, and there were times when it was like, um, I felt like it was too much talking, not enough playing. So like there were these extended scenes showing you like what happened and all this stuff, and it just... It was like, I was watching the whole time and I was thinking, when do I get to play, when do I get to play? And then, I feel like the only places where I got to play was when there was like a shooting scene or something like that. I wish there was less talking and more playing, if that makes any sense. And then sometimes because of that, um, sometimes in the middle of a fighting scene I'll stop and then I'll show something and then I'll think, oh, okay, maybe they just want to show the rest of the, or the end of the fighting scene. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go get a sip of water or something and then all of a sudden it tells you to push like this button or else you're going to die and it was just hard to like transition or to connect and to like keep focusing on it while you're holding it and then um it was just I felt like the transitioning parts between the like the video parts and you're actually playing wasn't very good is basically what I'm saying um, I felt like the storyline wasn't very good. It kept me entertained, yes, but there was no character development. Uh, you felt no emotional attachment to the characters. Like, if the main character died, I don't think I would have felt really bad or anything. Um, also, I felt like there was just too much shooting. And, like, I didn't feel the real... Um, why I was shooting these people like why do I have to shoot these people besides this my mission there was no really uh, motivation for me to feel like I needed to shoot it so it, the storyline was really just I felt like surface level it didn't really like dive in deep um, but it did keep, keep me entertained it is just a game you know and I got it on sale I definitely wouldn't recommend you to buy it full price um, and then if I had to rate it from like a 1 to 10, I probably would give it like a 5 or 4 just because the graphics were really nice. It kept me entertained, yes, I know it's just a game, so I can't expect that much from it.
but there are some other games that are really good that you know are have really good storyline have very good uh, character development and all of that stuff so I haven't played very many games either so maybe um, that's why I feel this way but so the, basically the biggest pro was I really liked the graphics they were super nice the city looks beautiful the cons the biggest two for me would probably be the um, too much talking not enough playing and then also the storyline because it wasn't too great and then it ended abruptly so I was like what it's over already um, I think you'll hear me saying that in my walkthrough if you watch it but yeah overall um, I'd say yeah it, it keeps you entertained you can try to play it but I wouldn't pay full price for it one two also I definitely um, I don't really recommend it I mean you can play it it's entertaining but I don't recommend Spending more than like, I don't know, five, four dollars on it because it really just didn't really, wasn't really awesome. I'll just say that. All right. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time.